Okay, so welcome back. Um, today we're going to be graphing uh, tangent. Uh, tangent is a little different than graphing sine and cosine. Um, the process of that we did for sine and cosine, especially with uh, phase shifts and stuff, for tangent it's way different. Um, so hopefully through this example and these examples below, you'll be able to kind of start to see the process to do tangent. Um, so in our discussion, or to start this off, tangent, if you look, go back to the unit circle, go back to the unit circle, right, so here's my circle, right, here's zero, here's pi over two, um, here's pi, here's three pi over two. If you look at the tangent, what tangent is at each of these points, right, tangent is um, of zero is zero. Tangent of pi over two is undefined. Right? Tangent of pi is zero. And then tangent of three pi over two is undefined. Okay? So this is what's different other than unlike sine and cosine tangent has these points where it's undefined and so at these points of being undefined you'll get um, you'll have vertical asymptotes at each of these points okay um, so that's going to be really key in knowing how to graph um, tangent today and so every odd um, multiple of pi over 2 you'll have a vertical asymptote and that's kind of something just to kind of keep in mind when graphing tangent okay um, now uh, just like sine and cosine um, in your standard equation a is still amplitude right and it affects what certain points are uh, and you'll see that in a minute okay and then your period length P uh, unlike sine and cosine which was 2 pi divided by B right um, this will be your period length for a standard tangent wave is pi, right? And then you have to do, you have to use pi with bx, and you'll see that in a minute. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, hopefully that it's kind of not super confusing, but it is. <laughs> Okay, so let's just get to an example and you can kind of see how to graph this. Okay, so uh, just like sine and cosine, A uh, is out in front, so A is 2. Um, and your period length to figure out P, right, a standard tangent wave is pi, right, but we have x over 2. And so what you have to do is you take pi, this, the standard period length for tangent, um, you're going to take pi and you're going to divide it by 2, right? So that basically is pi over 2. So you'll go a negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, right? That if you add those two together, you get a length of pi, which is your standard thing. And you put this in between these two numbers. You put whatever this is, your B value, you put that in between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. And then to solve for this, you just it's like solving a compound inequality, right? So to solve for x, I'm going to multiply uh, times 2. So that means I have to multiply everything here times 2. When I do that, I get negative pi, it's less than x, which is less than pi, right? So these here and here will be where my vertical asymptotes are on the x-axis, okay? So unlike the other points, right, um, the other graphs where we had to find 5, these two points are your kind of big points when graphing, right? So I'll put pi over here, and I'll put negative pi over here. And so I'll denote a vertical asymptote with 
a dashed line. Okay, now in between these two vertical asymptotes, we'll graph tangent. Okay, so in the dead center, which is zero, zero, tangent's going to cross. Okay, um, and then halfway between zero and pi, which in this case is pi over two, and halfway between zero and negative pi is negative pi over 2, right? Now, at these two points, right, tangent's going to, uh, you're going to go up or down your amplitude depending on the number that's in front of your trig function, right? So, in this case, it's 2. So, at pi over 2, I'm going to come up 2. And at negative pi over 2, I will go down 2. Okay, so it, it kind of looks like a straight line, but what you do is you connect these points and then you you draw your line towards this vertical asymptote and you draw this just like that right and just like tangent and or just like sine and cosine tangent keeps going right this is w what's considered one period a graph of one period length of two tangent x over two okay if you were to continue right so from pi to 2 pi, right, and then you would cut that in half, that's where it crosses the x-axis, and then between um, uh, pi and 2 pi, you write, you'd go down 2, and then between uh, 2 pi and 3 pi, you'd go up 2, right, so if you were to graph two period lengths, that's how you would do it, okay, so here's another example, hopefully this might kind of clear up and you can kind of start to see, uh, how the, the very re repetitive nature of these, and you can kind of start to see how to do this, right? So our amplitude is three. Our period length, remember, we're gonna take um, negative pi is less than, and we're gonna put this in between. Two x is less than um, pi, right? Oh, pi over two, step back. Okay, so that's, uh, between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, that's 1 pi, right, which is a standard tangent wave. All right, now if we're going to solve this compound equality, we got to divide. This time we got to divide by 2. So we're going to divide both sides by 2. When I do that, I get negative pi over 4 and pi over 4, right? So then I can come to my graph. These two values right here and here are where my vertical asymptotes are, right? So this is pi over four and it's negative. And here's pi over four. And I'll denote that with a dashed line, right? Um, halfway in between those, right? Between negative pi over four and pi over four, right, is zero. All right, so that's where it's gonna cross the x-axis between zero and pi over 4, right, if you're good with fractions, this will be pi over 8, and this will be negative pi over 8, okay, so at pi over 8, I'm going to go up my amplitude, my amplitude this time is 3, so I'll come way up here, and at negative pi over 8, I'll go down 3, to down here, then you just connect your points, because it's negative, it, it goes up, to the right and goes down to the left. So there's one period length of tangent three, three tangent two x. If you were to continue, right, this would be pi over four, and then it would be, uh, uh, what? Uh, three pi over four. Uh, anyway, so you would add another pi units to this, right? So it'd be five pi over four, sorry. Um, and then you'd cut that in half and that's where you'd cross the x-axis and then cut each of the halves into another half, right? And then that's where you'd go up and down, right? So hopefully this kind of makes graphing tangent. Hopefully the more you do these, the, the better you'll get at doing these. Um, yeah, and then tomorrow we'll focus on
I'm moving these left and right, and I'm with phase shifts.